Where's anybody in this moment? But he pops back out with this half-hearted apology that was like, it's almost offensive. Joe Budden finally reacts to the P. Diddy and Cassie video. This is Fresh Hair Pop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, the people have been calling for Joe Budden to respond to the Diddy and Cassie viral video. Now, he mentioned it with his cast members on his last episode of the Joe Budden podcast, but then took it out because they didn't give it enough time and dedication as it deserves. There was a big backlash from the public saying that he's scared of Diddy and he never speaks out about him. But he responded saying that he would dedicate serious time in the next episode. And sure enough, he has people. And I've got the clip right here. Check it out. We're starting with... Uh the news that CNN broke last week where they obtained hotel footage of Puff violently, graphically stalking and attacking Cassie. Uh, if that other angle come out, maybe kidnapping as well. But when it turned the corner, we don't get to, mm -hmm. we don't get to see. But you ran a long way down that hallway, and if you dragged her even four more feet, yeah, we now include kidnapping. That was disgusting. What we all had to witness, it was almost unbearable to watch. I'm certain that that was triggering for a lot of people. Absolutely. A lot of people that saw it, and that was Friday. Friday, mm -hmm. yes. I assumed that he would go and. Just hide somewhere. But why would you do that when you are just a glutton for attention? So he pops right back out. Talk about tone deaf. Talk about inability to read a room. Where are the publicists? Where's anybody in this moment? But he pops back out with this half-hearted an apology that was like it's almost offensive it was, a, it was it almost like a slap in the face that apology i didn't even watch it i mean i watched it because it was quick it mm -hmm. wasn't even he didn't even try to put some sincerity mm -hmm. into this thing mm -hmm. uh friday everybody here was in a good mood good vibes and it was our friday weekend episode we normally try to keep things i prefer to try to keep things light for the weekend episodes and that CNN Puff story broke as we were recording. Literally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fam. That's just a snippet of it. I didn't put the whole thing in there because obviously that wouldn't be cool. He was very serious with what he was saying. Obviously, everyone has taken what P. Diddy did very seriously. We all found it shocking. The way he was running down the corridor, the way he put hands on her. It was all kind of crazy. And then the apology... Again, Joe Biden was saying it was very quick, half-hearted, felt like it wasn't very genuine. And most people really echo that same sentiments. But one thing I definitely agree with him with, Diddy didn't read the room. I mean, nobody wanted to see that apology anyway. He felt like he had to do the apology just to save face, just to show some sort of remorse. But it looked like he was like reading it from cue cards. He was kept darting his eyes left and right. There's no expression on the man's face. It was mad. And did you ever think that Cassie might not even want to see that apology? Whether it's sincere or not. Because she's probably scarred from the relationship. But it's all about Diddy. We all know that. It was just to save face and save his career. Which he ain't saving that even if you got Superman on your team. Career done, son. But Joe Budden's comments about Diddy were probably well received by most of the public. Whether they feel like he should have gone harder or not. He spoke about it and he condemned Diddy's actions. But one individual was triggered by Joe Budden's words and criticism of Diddy. And it was his ex Tahiri. Blast from the past right there, that name. Ain't seen her in much recently. She left a comment on the Shade Room. I believe it was a Shade Room. And this is what she said. This whole ish took me out. So hard to watch. So sorry for Cassie and every other woman who is currently going through it. Or has ever gone through it. It's tough. And the next comment was directed at Joe Budden. She said, F out of here. Who? 
the irony. This is so triggering. I remember Joey throwing me down a flight of stairs, dragging me back into the house and me having to talk to him into letting me go. Crazy that she still calls him Joey. That's like a name of endearment. And as expected, Joe Budden caught wind of these comments and he responded and he went in. He said this, Tahiri, you are a lying, failed gold digger that has abused, targeted and manipulated many men. Outside of me, you lack an identity, which is why you've tried desperately to attach yourself to me for over 15 years. The last time I saw you, I purchased a mattress from you and you were happy you made the sale. You were fine then. There was that night after Starlet's, six years ago when you invited me inside your new place. You were fine then too. You were on my body your entire last stint on Love and Hip Hop and tried your best to disrespect my son's mother in the process. I had to ask the producers to keep you away from us like the cancer you are. Yet you continue to slight my name online because it's your identity. I don't speak to you or about you because it's low vibrational. You are a low level Dykeman Khan woman that's been lying about, you already know, for ages. I pray you heal and move on one day. Hopefully this is our last exchange. Prayers to all real victims. Jeez, real victims, you know. And to hear he wasn't done, she responded to Joe Budden. She said this, you can say whatever you want about me. Those that know me know, I'm not scared of you anymore. You can keep bullying, intimidating the rest. Those that know you and are around you also know the truth. Sad that they continue to enable your behavior. Your time is coming. A little bit of a threat there from Tahiri. If I was Joe Budden, I would be scared too. Because this is the era that if you misbehave to a female or anybody in the past, that stuff will catch up to you real quick. And there was a post online, this guy said, People live by Joe Budden's word and that's scary because he's the same, same ninja who said on radio that he broke into Tahiri's crib and hid under her bed because she wasn't talking to him. Yeah, that came out straight out of his mouth. Like, he said that he was contacting Tahiri. She wasn't responding to his messages. So he basically had a spare key from when they were still together. And according to him, he fell asleep under the bed when Tahiri came back with her friends, one of her friends peeped under the bed, caught him, started screaming. He started screaming and then, yeah. He said it in a funny way, but it's kind of disturbing that like, this guy, disturbing that this guy actually went to his ex's place and said a key, which is just weird. He tried to play it like it was all a joke, but that's still weird, yo, in my opinion. But Joe Budden has a history of alleged violence to his exes you know esther baxter accused him of putting hands on her and then sitting on her her belly when she was pregnant um yeah that sounded like a real brutal relationship and then he was with one of these video girls uh one of the former hip-hop video girls she said that he gets quite violent as well so he has previous. I think that's why a lot of people in the public wanted him to speak on this whole Diddy and Cassie situation because they know he's got previous. And even some suspected that he wasn't speaking about it based on the fact that he's had a lot of those rumours about him in the past. But in terms of Tahiri, she even went online and spoke about this infamous under the bed thing. And she said she's going to tell the full story in her own words because she's trying to like not really speak about it. Here's what she said. I just got in and um, I see that my DMs and my mentions are going crazy about me being legend, about the story being told, about how someone someone hid under my bed and how that was acceptable because they had a key. But they didn't really tell the story the way it was supposed to be told. If y'all want the real story, I can tell it. But I remember when I left that relationship that was very abusive that I was told that the man with the biggest mic wins. You know, that industry shit, that shit that they say. You know, that I have more power than you. Whatever you say and whatever you've been through with me, nobody will ever believe you. And for a long time, I've been really quiet. And I've always been very, very much, I just want to heal without the noise. Because it's hard to deal with this and somebody bullying you. 
I'm so over it though. That story wasn't told right. Yeah, fam. Tahiri's done her healing, but I think all this domestic violence stuff is really gonna bring out Tahiri again online. I ain't, I ain't seen her online for a while. Like, I almost forgot she existed. These two were like the the first hip hop couple online. I remember Joe Budden had Joe Budden TV. It was just basically him and Tahiri. But we never obviously saw any domestic violence. But I feel like these two are going to go back and forth a little bit more online. Maybe not as direct as what we just seen with the whole comments and all that. But I reckon she's going to do an interview. People will be hitting her up. It's hot topic. If you were abused by somebody allegedly, people want to chat to you. And a lot of people don't like Joe Budden. So I can imagine there'll be a few people trying to take him down. But that's just my opinion, people. I want to know yours. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It'd be much appreciated. It really does help the channel. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.